Welcome to another rainy day of my time at Portia, and we're working on this crane, but it's going to be far off into the future if I remember correctly. I think we need- yes, money. So we need to upgrade this so that we can afford to upgrade it and all of that, so. We need to, um earn money enough to upgrade this to the next tier before we can really get started on building the crane. How did we have such a hard time creating a tr crane when we have one? <laughs> anyway, so yes, that's what I'm in the process of doing. Don't think you need to water your uh, crops today, Emily. Just saying, it's raining. Let's see, do we have anything on the map besides guest? Yep, and this. I don't really have the things for either of those people. We need to mine. Hmm. Just kind of just trying to decide the first course of action, you know, what should be priority. Calendar. What does that have to say? Ooh. So we have the inspection and then the end of the month. I think these two days is the special shop. Maybe I could go up there and see when that is, because I'd really like to actually go in or look around that when he's around, opposed to just catching him as he walks past my house. Okay, so this is the mystery stores thing, and it doesn't say here when the days are, um, but I'm pretty sure on the loading screen it says it's the last two days of the month, so fingers crossed. So for a little bit of an update about my life, I am going to be switching my schedule from wake going to bed at 5 in the morning to waking up at 5 in the morning. So if for the next couple of weeks I seem groggy or off or anything like that, that's probably why. <laughs> I haven't been on a day schedule um, for years at this point, except for maybe on and off for a little bit, but for the most part I've been going to bed at anywhere from three in the morning to six in the morning so <laughs> going to bed at before 10 is going to be incredibly difficult so yes i don't know how that'll affect any uploads or how my recording is and all of that but if it is a little off that is why it's because i've got to be tired <laughs> we've already started doing a bit of the change and it's already hard to get up way earlier than usual <sighs> Alright, well, I ran out of bait. I had 13, I think, and I just went ahead and fished until I'd used it all up. And now I'm gonna run over to town and try to sell it to one of the um, cash registers that don't have a, a too late time, because <laughs> otherwise I'm gonna have to sell this all tomorrow. But I got a couple goliaths, I got a golden salmon that's with a star, so I think I'll keep that one. But I think the normal salmon I'm gonna go ahead and sell, because we need money. Alright, well it looks like everything's closed. So I guess I'll be selling- oop, maybe to Martha? Very good, alright, let's go ahead. I always think I need to go here to sell, but I don't think I need to. I think I can just go over here and like, right click and sell it. Nice. 2,000 there. A couple hundred there. Decided to sell because it was above the 100%, which is a very nice. Made the glass worth even more. I do wonder if I should have like one of everything for gifting purposes, but maybe not while we're trying to save. It's finally sunny! Alright, let's pick up our resources. Just thinking, I was like, man, it feels like I've never seen the, the sun again. Like. It's been rainy or cloudy for so many days. Probably not true, it's just what it feels like. Oh, there's a another chicken run quest. I guess we'll go get that. I was just thinking it's cool you can see the um, water wheel right there. And that it's something that's off in the background. I appreciate that. Let's go gather up Emily's chickens again. Like their little head bob when you're carrying them. Bloop, 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 bloop. But yeah. Emily, you need to get like a like a little fence area to put your chicks in. Sorry to bother you again. 
You're such a nice person. In return, here are some eggs. I really, really... Thanks, Emily. I wonder if that's just something that can always be done. Like, every Saturday or something like that. Let's run off and do the inspection real quick. Alright. Oh, I can already see one. There we go. And there we go. Yay! And then we have wonky cherry leg. Oh, right there. No, it's right there. <laughs> I misclicked. Oh yeah, you can see it on there. Okay, so there looks like there's a crack on the back of that one. Right here. And that weird screw. And then, let's see if we could see some... There's something weird with one of the... Uh, I don't even know what you call those. That thing. <laughs> Is it this? Yeah. Some of them are just slightly like bigger or kind of warped. So what I need- what I do is I try to get to an angle so that I can compare things like, okay, does the edge of this line up with the same spot on the other one? Kind of a deal. Because if you're just looking between them, it's actually kind of hard to notice sometimes. I had another purpose. Where was my next task? Ooh, I wanted to go see about the- the store. You open? Hmm. Oh, oh no. He is not yet open. I don't know if he's going to open up today or if not, but I find it annoying I can't walk on this lip. I'm like, why not? What is, is it because it'd make it too easy to get that chest? Fine. Ah, somebody has a temporary store of iron that we could purchase from, but we don't really need that. I'm here to see if I could find some more old parts. I figured I'd do so while we were in the area. Because I know we need more of those. That might do it. So yeah, I'm gonna mine for today. See where that gets us. Uh, we've got another book for Gus, some simple circuits and data disks. Another good day of mining out of the way. We've managed to get... Um three old parts. <laughs> Not the best I've ever done uh, collecting old parts and I got all of those from chests. Got any more, a lot more of the simple circuits. Some more fragments of um, relics and all of that. So it was good overall. Just scared to me I said that book would uh, okay it does. It's like I don't know if I actually even read what the title of that book was but I just assumed it went to Gus but I was right. <laughs> that was good. Ah some mail. That's exciting. Some supplies. Hey Builder, thank you for your effort in discovering product issues. Basic sewing machine. Okay. We have an important announcement to make at tonight's fireside meeting in Peach Plaza. Please try to make it 19 sharp. Okay. Hopefully it's about Ack. I'd really like to know. Ooh, are things ready to harvest? Yay! Look at all those corn balls. Uh, I think since there's only one day until um, winter, I will hold off on planting anything. What do I do with the sewing machine? Small relic. Can it be placed in? No. Because if it could be placed in my house, it would say um, stats it gets. Let me look. All right, so it looks like it is something that I can put in my house, except it doesn't give me any um, stat boosts. And I'm not quite to the point where I'm putting things in there just for decoration purposes, so I think I will actually give it to Carol, who loves it. Ooh, Gus, Gus, I have, I have a thing for you. Come back. I know it's not the thing yeah. you wanted. It's not an umbrella, but... Yep. I will give you this instead. Looks like you spent some thought on this. Yay! There you go. Let's go ahead and do the inspection once this opens up. Alright, here we are. Oh, okay. This poor thing's been real beat up. It's funny this is like proper. There we go. Oh, look at the bend on that guy. What? Did you guys have trouble transporting all of this or what? Why do we even get stuff from you? 
You're a terrible workshop. You need closed. Look at look at this. Get your act together. <laughs> Goodness. All right. Martha, have you seen Carol? Is she around? She isn't at her shop yet. I think sometimes she works out with you. I don't see her, so I guess I'll hang out until I see her. Hey! I used to call him Captain Arlo because it sounds nicer, but he didn't quite like the formality. What just happened and why? <laughs> well, that's good to know. Bye! I mean, I barely heard what you said because I was wondering what was happening, but... Uh, so if we go... Someday, I promise. Uh, is it because I became a better friend with Sam, so then it made me a better friend with everybody in the group? I don't know. We've got a lot of more um, associates now. People are becoming less strangers. I just feel like I'm no longer a stranger with these people. I mean, I know your names better than I know most people in real life's names, so... But that's fine. Ooh, the... Uh... Toddy's fish market's open. Catfish and some salmon. I'm glad we sold the day that there was over 100 because now it's well under. Oh, it's Sunday. She's probably up at the church. Well, I'll wait for you to come down because I'm not about to go up there. Oh, their house is so different from what it used to be. Neat. Oh, I like the picture of him with the cow. One of the girls is art. What about here? All right, we've got the three girls, their bedroom. Someone colored on the walls. Well, I love their little photos. And we have the parents' room. It's nice. Oh, and there's a picture of Carol. Where are you? <laughs> I can't find you. Well, if I don't see Carol at the fireside, I think it's time we put out a missing person report because she's nowhere to be found. <laughs> Oh my god, are they just getting out of church? I wonder I couldn't find them. I didn't think anyone was there that long. That was like eight hours up there. It's like a, a work day. <laughs> I found you. Hey! Alright, I, I won't put out a missing person's report. I can make some gorgeous clothes for you if you want. I'm the best tailor in Porsche. Here is a present I've been trying to give you all day. You're so generous! Yay! She loved it. That's good. Welcome, everyone. It's a nice Sunday evening that we're having. I've got some wonderful news to share today. Then we'll pass out some pies. The city-state of Sandrock and our city of Portia have agreed to build a road through the Eufaula Desert between our cities. This will cut travel time by more than half. That sounds amazing. That's wonderful. Why Sandrock? There's nothing there but hot sand. Now this is a good business opportunity. Yeah, but hey, kids, you know you're not going to get it. The mayor likes me. Where did you get the money to fund this? <laughs> Probably a good question. Good question, my dear. The governments of both cities will fund this road together. During my time in office, we built up sufficient reserves, so the funding isn't a problem. This is a part of a grand plan that I've been building over the past year to make Portia a center for commerce and travel in the free cities. I suppose making all the roads lead to it would help with that. Allow me to introduce Mint. He's an engineer from Vega 5. Hello. Hello. <laughs> He'll be spearheading the building of the road. The builders in Portia and Sandrock will help bring this to fruition. We'll have a meeting tomorrow to discuss how we're going to go about it. His thing says he likes to sleep. We are clearly going to be good friends. In other news, Gust has submitted a proposal for a hot air park around the duck pond. Folks have been requesting this for a long time, and it's finally on my desk. I'll be securing the funding for it as soon as I can, as it fits into my overall plan for Portia. That's an interesting thing for everybody to desire. That's all for tonight, folks. Come up and get your pies, courtesy of Granny Sophie. Yes. I do need that from your pie. I'm gonna Here you orbit. Go. Enjoy. Do I have another one? Ooh, you gave me two. Thanks. Hi. Hello. I'd never seen such a range of autumn colors until I got here. Vega 5 hardly has any plants by comparison. That doesn't sound good. See well, you. It's nice to meet you, Mint. 
I'm so excited to wake up tomorrow. It's gonna be winter. Let's go look at it. It's beautiful. Look at all the snow. All right, let's gather our stuff up. Check. Okay. Dear Builder, not sure if you were at the fireside last night, but we decided to build a road from here to Sandrock through the desert. <laughs> we'll be having a meeting at my office today to draw up the plans. Exciting, isn't it? Can't wait to get started. All right, congratulations on obtaining number two position in the workshop rankings last month. You were so close to getting number one. Continue to work hard and you'll get there soon. Here's your reward. All right, Ooh, a lot of data disk. <gasps> money. <laughs> That's almost all the money we need. And then a lucky chest. All right. We'll open that up here in a minute. A fossil replica, power stones, and the liquid for the inspection. And we have an important announcement tonight at the fireside. Yes. Okay. Good. Let's, uh, can I open this here? Do I need to open in here? We got a file cabinet. Oh my lord. All right, let's go put that in the house. Oh, there's this place for four things. All right, let's... <gasps> okay, I'm going to put this in the kitchen. Put all the cleaning supplies in it. Oh no. <laughs> the broom and the mop stick up through the top. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that makes sense. Dang it. All right, it is our pantry. We've got some flour, some salt, honey, and the like in there. Still know what to do with this giant lamp, but it'll do. All right, uh, yeah, I'll just keep the fossil. I don't know what if I'm running out of storage space, <laughs> which is ridiculous. I should probably look into getting the uh, metal-y ones. Oh, it's so pretty. I wish this is where I was right now, especially because it's really hot, <laughs> but also because this looks amazing. I love winter. I don't like people having to drive in the snow, but otherwise I love the snow. <laughs> Most of a quest on the horizon, so let's go ahead and see what's going on in Town Hall first, and then check that out. There you are! Now that everyone is here, let's get down to business. Sounds good. First, I need to emphasize just how important this is to Portia. Once we have connected Portia to Sandrock with this new road, we will become the de facto transportation hub between Vega 5, Sandrock, and Walnut Groove. That's an envious place to be in. Sounds like it. This here is Mint. <laughs> I've known him since he was a pup. He's one of the best engineers around and will be leading this project. Mint, if you please. Hey everyone, let me give you an outline of our objectives for the Porsche part of the project. Broadly speaking, there are two phases to this project. In phase one, we'll start the road from Sandrock as the terrain there is easier for construction. During that time, we need the builders here to complete the bridge across the Porsche River, which will connect us to the desert. That makes sense. When that is complete, we will move on to phase two where we will construct a rest stop along the southern bank of the Porsche River. Okay. We're going to call this new town South Block. Not too original, I know, but it'll be a place where all the travelers can rest and enjoy the view of Porsche. Like a, we're, we're building a whole town? Is that what you're telling me? Like a whole new section of town? We're working with Albert of A&G Construction to build the bridge and South Block. I'll be leaving for Sandrock in a couple of days. Then Albert will be in charge of the plans here. Sounds right, good. Right, so I've pretty much worked with everyone in this room before, so I reckon this will be as smooth as a water troll's butt. As for the builders, I'll be posting the bridge commissions in the Commerce Guild from tomorrow. Okay, sounds good. I like he knows that this isn't going to go smoothly because of Higgins. <laughs> Why don't you just give me all the commissions? I can do it all! I bet you could. I keep on telling you, mate. There's more to life than just work. And that would be against guild rules anyway. <laughs> I am so looking forward to this. Good luck, everyone. He's laughing. He's like, I don't have to deal with any of you. I've passed off all of these duties. Be away. <laughs> all right, Gail. We'll uh, get this all figured out. Someone did anything Hi. to say? Thanks for always helping out. I doubt Portia would be making half as much progress without you. Well, thank you very much. Don't let Higgins hear you say that, though. I, I didn't mean to actually talk to you. Ah, Sam. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yo, wanna spar with me? I heard you can handle yourself quite well. Uh, why? Why? We're a frontier town, that's why. 
All right, then let's begin. Don't hold back on me now. Okay, I mean, you've seen me fight, and I've seen you fight, and I know this isn't gonna go well. I was like, are you just gonna stand? Oh my god, Sam, just take a chill pill. Okay, I won't take it easy on you, but could you take it easy on me? Just saying. Stop it. I don't get a cool little design on my stuff. No, no. You just stay away. Stop it. No. No, cheater. Oh my god, I'm winning. If I could just stay at this exact position for the next 12 seconds, I will win! No! <laughs> oh, I won! <laughs> I cannot believe I won. That was so close. Whew. That was quite the workout. You sure know how to fight, Sam. Yes, you do. Same goes for you. I wasn't disappointed. Thanks. Thanks for taking time out of your day to spar with me. To be honest, I always have to be training so I can keep up with Arlo and Remy. They're freaks of nature. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. I cannot believe that I won that. That was not looking like it was going to end well for me. All right, we have another quest. Oh, up in the newspaper? Sometimes it's hard to pinpoint exactly where markers are on that little mini-map. Yes. Ready for part two of my Make Porsche Times number one action plan? I feel like there's a lot of you with these action plans. Erwa and I have been drawing all the illustrations by hand so far, but we're both terrible at art. I even received a letter from Gust telling us to stop drawing. That jerk. For the next part of my plan, we need a camera. I think the drawings in the newspaper so far have been decent. Ah, great! Cameras are so very rare. They only have a few in use at our Atara office. You'll need to talk with the research center about how to make one. Oh, I have two days of three, actually. Three days of absolutely nothing. And then they're like, Here's six quests to work on at once. Could you spread it out a little bit? Jeez. A camera? Oh, ho, ho, you don't need to look too far. Our director has a working one. Oh, well. What do you want? A camera? I have one. Mm. I don't feel like asking her to just give up her working rare camera will go well. So, diagram? We don't have the technology to build cameras, and working ones are extremely rare. Okay. Can I have yours? No, of course not. <laughs> Guess it was worth a try. Pretty please. You know what? I just thought of something. I can give the camera to you on one condition. Hmm. What's that? We go on a social engagement. Is this a date? You can now hang out with... Okay. I guess we're gonna hang out. Um... Like, a date? Is that- <laughs> It says hang out, but the option here is date. How, how does one hang out and not go on a date? Feels like we have a lot more quests than, than are listed here, but it's probably because one of them we need to pick up tomorrow. Fingers crossed I remember to do that. Maybe I should set a reminder. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Alright, pick up quest. Good. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll delete that one. All right, now I won't forget. Ooh, we have a snowball battle. Cool. This says there is a fire side, and I thought maybe I just misread the wrong one, but maybe there is two this week. I guess we'll see what that's about, potentially. So it looks like we do need to go on a date with Merlin. Um, not just hang out, uh, but that's, that's fine. But I think we'll end up doing that next episode. I'm going to hang out around the here to see if there's a second fireside or if it was just kind of bugged out because I read the fireside note twice. Not sure. We'll see. Wow, it looks so crazy without any fields out there. Well, Gail is standing here like there will be a second fireside, so 
wonder what it will be about. What it's worth having a second fireside this week. Oh, it's Ak. So that's Ak. I still think he's an alien. <laughs> Polly. I don't like this one bit. I don't know. What if he goes crazy? He looks so cool. I'm not sure what to feel about this. I'm going to trust Gale on this. Welcome, everyone. So glad there are more folks joining us today than usual. Since you're all here for a singular reason, without further ado, let me introduce our newest citizen, Mr. Ack. Care for a self-introduction, Mr. Ack? Hello, I like to cook. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, like I stated in the letter, I hope everyone can welcome Mr. Ack with open arms. Some of you might be apprehensive about having a living relic roaming in our city. I, I just hope you all give him a chance. Mr. Ack has stated uh, that he wants to work here as a chef. That uh, would make sense, yes. Now, Mr. Lee has something more to add. The mayor and I had a long talk over the fate of this AI relic. I shared with him all of our concerns in allowing such a dangerous relic to live in our city. But the mayor was adamant that Portia and the Alliance of Free Cities were all founded by outcasts, castaways, and refugees. We cannot, in our good conscience, turn away Mr. Ack. However, we did come to an agreement that Mr. Ack will live with the civil corpse for the foreseeable future, for his own protection and ours. In time, I am hopeful that Mr. Ack will be fully incorporated into our society. Thank you, Minister. Now, if anyone has any issues with my decision, they can come and see me to talk about it. As part of my plan to increase Portia's profile within the Free Cities, I've been considering the construction of a museum for our city. Thanks to a generous donation from one of our citizens, who wishes to remain anonymous, we now have the funding to make this happen. I wonder who paid for this? I hope you know what you're doing, Gail. I can envision many corrupted relics on display. <laughs> it's all right, buddy. More work for me! We all know it wasn't Higgins because he wouldn't want to be anonymous. Starting next week, A&G Construction will begin preparations for the Porsche Museum. I think it'll become a wonderful attraction for our city. All right. We have a lot to work on. Let's go talk to Ak. Hello. You are not Ak. Goodbye. I want to talk to Ak. Come here, buddy. Boing, boing, boing. Hey! There used to be so many AIs walking around. It's kind of lonely to be the only one here now. What happened? All right. We did. Goodbye. We did say that last time. All right. Bye, Ak. It'll be fun seeing you around. But I think that's going to have to be it for this episode. We've just gotten a lot of things to be working through. I'm curious how they're going to start the museum without the grain, but... Hopefully we can get that sorted out soonish. I do have the money now, so that's what we'll be doing next episode is upgrading that, starting the crane, and going on a date with good old Merlin. Merlin? Merrill? Merlin. Okay, it was Merlin. Who we are strangers with, but that's fine. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.